Okay, the mass professor is on the air, and oh. Okay, a little uh, slow getting off the mark this morning, but when the fields are white with daisies, uh, we'll all be the same. Uh, okay, uh, open up PowerPoint. Let's go to share screen. All right, so today we'll be going through uh, some of our um, uh, 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 some more exciting stuff about. Uh, using PowerPoint and how to build effective presentations. Now, ordinarily in this class, I would also have everyone getting up and giving little short speeches and other things of that nature, but because of the scattered nature of our class, that's just out. All right, so uh, first thing I'm going to do, as usual, I'm going to go to View, uh, to Slide Master, click on the first slide, and I am going to change to Times New Roman, and not showing me that, so I'm, yes, sir. Um, how do I get uh, a slide on here? Um, I know it's not showing any slides on here. It's uh, just blank. Under view, okay. look for on the left hand upper ribbon, look for where it says slide master. Uh, it's, it's all grayed out. I can't um, click on anything. Well, that's unusual. All right. Uh, let's take a look over here and see what's going on. All right. Click on another tab. Now click on View. Try clicking on Slide Master there. And it's not like blue squares, so it's just little slides. Well, you have to get to the Slide Master to do that. Click on File. Uh, do uh, uh, do uh, uh, new. Click on blank presentation. Okay. <laughs> All right. Now click on Slide Master. All right. 
Now, you're actually on the second slide there. Go up one. All right, so click on the border of one of those, uh, on one of those, and then go to the home tab and change the uh, font to Times New Roman. Okay, have you got that? Yes. All right. Now, do the same thing for the body slide. Click on the edge. And uh, since you're already on the home tab, uh, change the font to Times New Roman. And then click on the edge again and hit the A with an up arrow twice. Okay. All right, now I've got it set up the way I want, and I mustn't forget now to go to the File tab Save as, I'm going to save it in the computer skills folder, um, and I'm going to save it as writing quiz number eight. Um, e -N -G -R Dash one two three. Uh, what is this? Nine twenty nine thirty. Well, twenty nine thirty. It's one of those days. Uh, twenty twenty. Okay. So uh, again, always extremely important to use a good file name, one that identifies you, the date, and the uh, subject. All right, so having done that, I go back to the slide master um, uh, the slide master uh, tab, and I'm going to close the master view, right? I've already got it set up the way I want. All right. The slide that I've got up is my title slide. Uh, and uh, this presentation is going to be all about me. So I put my name as the title, and my subtitle will be. So we don't put our names in there? No, put your name. Okay. Uh, yeah, uh, let, let me make this clear, because sometimes people are just copying what I'm doing. No, when we do these things, I want you to individualize them uh, so that it's, um, it's about you. Like when we did the goals, I got a, a lot of people did the goals using your goals. <laughs> my goals, yeah. And, you know, uh, 
if those are also your goals, that's fine. But uh, the, the point of that exercise was for people to think about their goals and what they want to accomplish. All right. And my subtitle is going to uh, be a life, my biography. All right. So, as per usual, I go and I click below here in the uh, uh, in the uh, uh, side panel. I click below. Yes. Yes. Certainly. Uh, all right. So I go to view and I click on Slide Master, right? That shows me uh, all the different kinds of slides I can have. I've already changed it to be the font I want, and I actually increased the size of the body fonts. Now, here we have the uh, close uh, master view on the slide master tab, right? So if you're over in the home tab because you changed the font or the size of the uh, font, then you need to go back to the slide master and then hit the close master view uh, uh, button, which is uh, all the way on the right hand side in the ribbon. Fantastic. Glad to hear it, Leonard. All right. So now I'm back here. I put a line underneath because I am going to go with a new slide. And as I thought it would, it just went ahead and gave me the ordinary title with body slide. Right? Now there's a whole bunch of different slides that we could get uh, uh, if, for example, I had subsections, I could do title slide. Uh, title and content is the kind I have now. A section header. Um, if you want to be a bit more formal about how you break it up. The two content uh, or comparison slide uh, we saw last time a title only uh, maybe you want to put in some pictures or video there a blank slide uh, content with caption picture with caption right so there's there's different kinds of slides and um, ordinarily you're going to want just this kind title with content. Sometimes you're going to want comparison or you may want one where you could put more uh, uh, information in. Uh, and so uh, my title for this is going to be birth And I'm going to come down here um, born in uh, March nineteen fifty X. All right, telling you I was born in the fifties is already pretty much giving away the game that I'm old. Um, right. Um, Father H. Neil Whiting 
mother and a Lois Whiting uh, born on Good Friday and also I was born on opening night and uh, when I come down I'm going to put the title of the play uh, as a sub bullet And the reason that's significant is it was a play written by my father. Uh, now you'll notice I tried to leave it as a lowercase b by H. Neil Whiting. Uh, uh, but the, uh, oops. Uh, and I'm making that a sub-sub bullet. All right, so I think about that, and I say, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and just grab all of these points, and I'm going to move them up here. Um, you'll notice it grabbed my father, H. Neil Whiting, and put it in right behind, right? And I'm going to go ahead and say, you know what? I just want to shift all of these over one more uh, bullet point. Uh, uh, right? So that talks a little bit about... Um, uh, my birth, um, uh, right, I could also put in uh, that I was born in Austin, Texas, right, so there's all kinds of things. Of course, now, for you guys, y'all have a whole ritualistic way of describing uh, uh, your family lineage um, uh, uh, because of your Diné culture um, right and you could put uh, a lot of that in uh, uh, unfortunately uh, uh, us wasps or white people, as it were, have less uh, of a um, colorful cultural heritage about how to describe these things. All right, so I've got that, but it's looking, well, let's face it, it looks kind of bare. So I'm going to go over here to the insert and I am going to go to pictures because I know that I have somewhere here, I have a folder of early pictures uh, of me that some friends put together for my 50th birthday party. How long ago that seems now. Uh, uh, so I'm looking particularly for um, 
particularly, ah, here we go, for this picture, you know what, as I think about it, I may have used this picture before in this class. Y'all may be tired of seeing it, but I don't care. <laughs> All right, so this is a picture of me in Austin during my youth. I don't know uh, what house that is. Um, in Austin, we actually lived in three different houses, all of which were eventually bought by the University of Texas, uh, and our, uh, those locations are now somewhere on the University of Texas campus. All right, so I've got my picture, but I'm going to uh, edit it a bit. So I go to the crop feature. And I'm going to go ahead and cut it down so that um, uh, uh, so that we're kind of rid of the extraneous elements. Um, uh, one, uh, uh, one aspect that y'all may not realize is how easy these digital pictures are to uh, manipulate. Uh, uh, growing up, uh, you had to take pictures with an actual camera. Uh, uh, and uh, if you wanted to um, if you wanted to uh, do something like this, it was a long and involved process. Oh my God, I just realized how much I sound like my grandparents. You kids have it easy! <laughs> <laughs> Uh, next thing you know, I'll be telling you about buying Snickers bars for uh, a nickel. Uh, bloody hell. Uh, uh, one thing is, uh, life is uh, lots of fun and very interesting. And the older you get, the more you realize the truths of some of what your parents and your grandparents uh, tried to tell you that you didn't listen to at the time. Or at least I didn't. Maybe you guys have been very dutiful and, uh, and taking everything in. All right. So here I've got a slide that works um, uh, uh, pretty well. Um, I am violating my rule about not more than seven lines, but everything fits comfortably and is easy to read. All right, so now Let's put in, um, uh, let's put in another slide, but this time I want to do a, um, a, a title only slide that I'm going to entitle Childhood. 
right? And I am just going to put in some more pictures. So, um, all right, so that's much later in life um, when my uh, um, so that's not really childhood. Let's uh, look again here. Uh, Whiting's in Black Hills. That's me and my sister Marjorie. I'm the doofus in the back, obviously. Um, right? Now, I don't know if... I don't know if you guys have uh, uh, pictures uh, of yourselves there available, right? So feel free to put in uh, uh, pictures uh, uh, at Sam's wedding, the cowboy. Hmm. All right, Harry on a horse, that sounds promising. Oh, this is the only known picture, uh, uh, or excuse me, one of the few pictures of me with my uh, maternal grandfather, uh, the gentleman who's holding me on the horse there. So when people tell me, you're no horseman, I say, hey, I was on a horse when I was six months old. <laughs> Admittedly, I wasn't riding, <laughs> but... <laughs> uh, all right, so that, there's a, uh, a picture, right? But if you don't have pictures of yourself, just insert some... Uh, 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 some uh, uh, random pictures, right, just for the practice, and go ahead and crop them into what seems like a reasonable uh, uh, composition. Now, of course, these pictures, I can size them as I, uh, as I wish, right? So I might want to emphasize some, not emphasize others. Uh, I can just click on pictures and move them around. So, for example, here, I'll put... Uh, this one over here, line up this one with it, right? Now, if you know which, uh, if you know which pictures uh, uh, you want, then that makes it pretty much super easy. Uh, but uh, in this case, I am, uh, I don't really remember uh, which pictures are which. Um, and so I am floundering in my folder of pictures here. Uh, and uh, let me think. Uh, all right. Uh, so I might want to go ahead and um, uh, and caption uh, 
uh, some of these uh, pictures. To do that, I could insert, go to uh, insert shapes text box. with maternal grandparents Alvin and Elon Rickles. Oh no, Elon has got a capital E. All right, um, but I don't like the Calibri, of course, I want to change that to Times New Roman. I'll also change it to uh, a, a, a centered paradigm. Um, now, I could just insert another uh, text box, but since I've already formatted this one, I'm going to click on the edge of it, right click, oh damn it, come on, right click, all right, I'm going to hit control C and go ahead and paste And with teddy bear right now what am I going to do with these let's go ahead and Now you'll notice that the order you've inserted the pictures makes a difference. So when I move this one over a little, it goes behind the subsequent picture that I clicked on. All right, and so I'm going to go ahead and paste again. And here I'm going to write uh, left with sister Marge right um, Sam, Harry, Lida, March. Right, now one thing you may have noticed is as I'm going along through the PowerPoint, right, I I don't really prepare these lectures beyond saying, all right, today I've got to take these guys through how we do uh, uh, some certain things, uh, right? Although, because I've already taught this class before, I knew today I was going to do biography uh, so that we could go through inserting some things and, um, uh, and so on. Right, but if we were to pull up the uh, uh, the time I did this before, it would look very different. All right. Uh, so now I'm going to insert a new slide, uh, but it's going to be title and content again.
Uh, I'm going to do college. Uh, I went to Del Mar College. Oh, 1974 to 1976, and again in 1979. Texas A&I University. Uh, 1979 to 1983, right, and Bachelor's of Science, Mechanical Engineering. So, because I indented Bachelors of Science Mechanical Engineering, I'm going to have to come back up here and use my decrease list level to get back to Then I went to Texas A&M University Kingsville And that was from 1998 to 2002. And I got a Master's of Science Industrial Engineering. Now, strangely enough, Texas A&M University Kingsville is actually the same school as Texas A&I University. They had just um, a uh, rotten politician had changed the name uh, in between uh, my college journeys. All right, and again, I want to go back and decrease the list level. And Ohio University, 2007 to 2011. Ph.D. Mechanical and Systems Engineering, ABD. Okay, so who knows what ABD means? Okay, well, I thought <laughs> maybe that would be the case. <laughs> uh, ABD means all but dissertation. In other words, I, I have not finished that degree. And at this point, I have to reapply uh, uh, to finish it. slide and there are several revisions I could make. For example, college, eh, that's not doing it for me. Let's say education. Right? Then I ask myself, 
Should I mention being thrown out of Del Mar College twice? Uh, if I want this to be a super uh, formal thing that I'm going to show, like, uh, 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 to a group of people, I may not want to mention that part. All right, so one thing I might want to do is I might want to uh, ins insert a picture. Slides are always more interesting if you have a picture. And I've already emphasized when we make our presentations, we want to have pictures or videos because a picture uh, a picture is worth a thousand words, as the old uh, saying goes. How much more is a video worth is the extension that uh, uh, one of my old bosses uh, did. All right, so I'll insert a picture. Here's me on my Honda that I rode during uh, uh, during college, and uh, with unknown person behind me. Okay, so that is uh, me at. Uh, uh, at the house I lived in at the time on Troy Street in Corpus Christi. Now, I notice it's way too super huge to fit well on this slide. So I'll just decrease the size a bit and maybe put it up here where it fits. One thing you have to be careful of with uh, PowerPoints is if you don't know where uh, uh, if you don't know where you're going to be presenting it, you don't know what the situation is going to be with the. Uh, uh, first of all, what condition the projector's in, if it's going to show true. This projector has literally been here ex almost exactly like this since I got here in 2012. It does not show a lot of colors the same way I see them on the slide. And I've, I've seen that problem before in uh, uh, in presenting at different venues is you you can never be quite sure how the colors are going to come out how the contrast is so you want to be careful to keep things very high contrast you'll notice I like to go with uh, with black on white because uh, that kind of positive print is very easy to read. Uh, uh, and I like to go with uh, uh, when we have pictures, make sure they're big enough to be seen. One thing that I see a lot is pictures being presented that are so small, you have no idea what's really going on. Uh, uh, in fact, uh, how many people here are on Facebook? Okay, I've only got one person that will admit to being on Facebook, when in fact, I know, oh, uh, <laughs> deny all you want, Miss <laughs> Charlie. I had an account, but I had to close it. Oh yeah, you're getting too radical in your political views. No, because I don't. 
I don't find social media fun. I only did it because of a scholarship requirement. Ah, uh, that is an excellent reason. It was a stupid reason, but I had to do it. Well, um, uh, I actually spent time on Facebook pretty much every day, a little bit of time, or some days a lot of time. <laughs> uh, but it's more because I like arguing with people about politics <laughs> then, you know, I don't, uh, you know, you post, oh, uh, my, uh, my daughter just had a baby. I am not as excited as if you uh, say, hey, I watched the debates last night. Uh, what a crap show. <laughs> uh, which, actually, I did watch the debates last night, and I do have to say, what a crap show. I don't I like the candidates. Yeah. Um, I think I've only been on Facebook for like three months now, I think. But. I, um, I thought I saw the worst two candidates ever in American history uh, for the Democrats and Republicans in 2016. But 2020 was determined to prove me wrong. <laughs> They're like children. Uh, so, <laughs> all right, so I'm going to insert another slide, um, but I'm going to do one here where it's content with caption. All right, so under my uh, caption, or, or my, um, uh, my title for this, is going to be professional work. Um, and okay, this is just backwards of what I figured it would be. All right, so over here, uh, I'm going to put um, work measurement. Uh, method improvement, human factors, right, because really my, uh, uh, my professional work as an engineer has been almost exclusively in these things. Um, now, what I want to do is I want to, this time, I want to insert a video. And in fact, as I'm thinking about it, I'm praying that the video is already on the computer. All right, so I go to the Insert tab, and where is video? Online, new slide. Uh, da, 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 link, action. Damn it, where did you put video? Oh, there you go, video, way over here. Uh, all right, so let's go to... Let's see if I've got it here. No. Nope. Look in lean production. Okay, well, here is a video. Um, um, uh, kind of a long one to put in a slideshow. And it's thinking about it. This really is a huge file. All right, so it didn't like that video. Uh, 
And while I'm at it, I'm going to add another bullet point on my Uh, and actually, it's lean production, not lean production. There you go. All right. I need a different uh, video. So let's see if I've got uh, the video I'm thinking of. Well, hmm, it might still be on, uh, let's see, that would be under process at a glance, I want to say. Oh, okay, there you go. There's two good videos. Uh, an AVI file is what we used to actually use all the time. Okay, it is not liking the coding of my videos. Uh, here, we'll try this one. All right, there we go. So you'll notice that my video here, this is actually a work measurement video I did. For years I've been working on a book on lean production. And I have been so lazy that, uh, uh, that I keep plotting along and changing things and, and writing some more, but uh, I haven't gotten serious enough to finish it. All right, but this is a video of um, of me actually folding sheets uh, to figure out how long it takes to fold sheets. And you saw there, I held up the sheet uh, to show the label that tells you how to sh fold the sheet. Uh, although I discovered that nobody could understand the instructions on my label. So I kind of gave up on, on putting labels uh, on the sheets about how to fold them. Uh, Okay, so great. We've got this video. It's a couple of minutes long. Uh, that is a really good amount of time for uh, a video on a PowerPoint, right? You don't want a super long one uh, because you'll go, you're going to end up with all kinds of problems. Now, what I want to do is I'm going to open the folder that has computer skills. I am going to um, uh, create a new folder within that folder. All right, and this is going to be the biography folder. I am going to uh, go ahead and I'm going to save this. Then I'm going to save uh, uh, save my presentation into the biography folder. 
And why did he give it this bizarre file name? Uh, all right, so Whiting quiz number eight um, ENGR one, two, three, nine dash thirty dash twenty twenty. All right. Now, the reason I put it in its own folder is that now I am going to go to the lean production folder, the process at a glance. I'm going to open this video. All right, and I need to be able to, all right. Um, what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to copy this video. Um, and I'm going to then open computer skills, open biography, and I'm going to, oh, hmm, that's interesting. Then I'm going to paste it in there. Why have I gone to all this trouble to do that? If I want my video to play automatically when I, um, uh, when I am doing my PowerPoint, it, the slideshow and the videos that you want to play have to both be in the same folder. Uh, all right, so now I'm going to remove this because it's referencing the wrong place. Go to insert, go to video, video on my PC, uh, documents, computer skills, biography, and there we go. Now all of this is so that now I can go to animations and uh, when I go to animations you'll notice I'm still on the video and it gives me this whole ribbon because I'm on a video of you know how should it appear or uh, uh, whatever but uh, uh, what I want is the start I don't want it to start on click I want it to start with previous alright now I'll show you uh, the difference between those. All right, so I start, uh, I go back to my first slide. I put it on slideshow, right? So I say, hey, I'm Harry Whiting. Um, I was born in um, uh, Austin, Texas during March, uh, etc. cetera. Uh, these are pictures of my childhood. Uh, this is my uh, uh, educational background, my professional work. And you'll notice the video's not going, but if I click once more, it should have gone. Uh, so I have to ask, all right, what is the problem? Oh, and the problem is I have to click on the actual video. 
right so now. Did you, you want it to start on click or automatically? I want to start automatically, right? So I'm going to escape. Uh, click on the video, and I'm going to say with previous. And With, with previous. So you went to animations and then um, let's see. Uh, I have a whole bunch of stars on this, the top, the toolbar. Right, and what those are are those are ways that you can get things to appear or disappear from uh, uh, right. But what you want is to come way over here on the right side uh -huh. to timing. Okay, um, I don't have that on mine. Okay, well, do you have a, a video? Let's see, um, uh, I inserted a YouTube video. Okay, good. Because I didn't have a video. All right, you have to have a copy of that video in your folder, though. Oh, okay. For I, I don't have that. Right. Okay. All right. Well, we'll we'll make it that people that actually can put a video in a folder that'll be an uh, 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 that'll be like bonus points. Okay. So here I'll start back in the uh, slideshow. And it's still not going. All right, so apparently I may have lost some of my powers uh, over the years, um, as I have so often emphasized. Um, uh, we can. Uh, There we go. All right. Let me start on the slide before, do it on slideshow. All right. And apparently it's not going to do it again. Up there. All right. So, all right. How do I get rid of my trigger now? I'm afraid that I'm stuck with it forever. All right. Well, let's. Uh, let me uh, try again and see. All right. Um, uh, one aspect uh, of this is um, I haven't done this in a long time, and obviously 
I'm uh, floundering a bit on how it's done. Um, but uh, another uh, uh, aspect of it is that um, this is a later version of Windows of uh, PowerPoint than I've done this with before. So I am um, All right, start with previews. All right. So I'm going to claim incompetence. Yeah, that's a ticket. All right. Well, bloody hell. All right. I don't actually want to get too far into um, animations uh, right now uh, because I'm planning on doing a whole uh, uh, class about that. Uh, showing some stuff I've done in the past and, and so on. Um, like animation, transitions is uh, a way of, uh, of doing a certain, uh, of changing the slides from one to the other. Um, so, for example, here on the birth slide, I could have the push uh, as the, uh, right, I could come out down here to childhood, do a white, uh, uh, College, do random bars, and do fall over, right? So that when I do it, then when I run the slideshow, all right, I've got my title slide, I advance the transition into birth, then it looks like the birth slide is just pushing it up. Right? We wipe into childhood. Bars into education. And then that falls over for professional work. Right, I could, again, go through here and say, you know what, maybe I want to do a little bit more pizzazz um, uh, with this. And I can look at some of my different uh, possibilities. Right, although you'll notice when I look at those, um, it kind of changes, uh, kind of changes things around as far as it's changing my font size, my fonts, uh, etc. So if you're going to use something like this, you want to be sure and do it up front, and then use your slide master to get the right, the font you want, 
uh, the size that you want, etc. Uh, uh, okay, well, uh, I am going to call this uh, good enough for the government job. Who has any questions that they would like to ask? Who has any questions they'd like to answer? Come on, Winter, somebody save me here. Uh, all right. Let me. Yes, ma'am. That's that's fine. Uh, we'll we'll put the video uh, inserting a video as extra points. Um, okay. All right. One thing to be sure of is hit the save button. Again, auto save no longer works unless you save to the cloud. And here on the Navo Nation, because. We have interruptions in our uh, uh, internet. We don't want to save to the cloud too much because you might not be able to access it when you need to. Uh, yes? Uh, do we send this as homework number seven? Or? No, you send it as quiz number eight. Uh, in fact, you should have saved it as quiz number eight. Uh, 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 fantastic. All right. Uh, um, how do I view the transitions? Uh, you go ahead and do and do a slideshow. Okay. Slideshow. Right, and then it'll show. The, uh, the different transitions that you've done. Okay. Um, troopers, there is one more thing. Uh, somebody who is going to be in uh, Crown Point tomorrow, I would love it if you would come be on my radio show so we can interview you about the excitement of going to school at NTU. Uh, if you would like to do that, then um, go ahead and uh, leave me uh, your phone number and uh, during the 10 to 11 hour, uh, uh, I'll call you with my famous co-host and we'll, um, uh, we'll call you and uh, interview you. So, I'm looking at you, Miss Charlie. I'm working tomorrow, so. You have the biggest list of excuses I ever <laughs> saw. Is it called truths? I work 12 hour shifts at the hospital, so. Blah. I yeah. hate when that happens. Yeah. I wouldn't mind. I said I would one day, but I didn't. I thought you were kidding. So. <laughs> but um, Mondays and Wednesdays are good days for me. Okay, unfortunately the radio show is on Thursday. On Thursday? Oh, I work every Thursday, so. Uh, that's going to make it very difficult. Unless you can call us on break. Yeah, you could do that. <laughs> uh, anyway, all right, everyone have, uh, uh, have fun, and uh, have we'll see you on Monday. Have a good weekend. Bye now.